Should you get RTX 5070 Ti or you should spend more to get RTX 5080? Let's talk. Hey everyone and welcome back to Binosha Tech channel. I'm Amin Khaliqi and today I'm comparing two of the best laptop GPUs RTX 5070 Ti and RTX 5080. Which one should you get? I mean... <laughs> RTX 5080 laptops are 20 to 30 percent more expensive than RTX 1570 Ti laptops. Is it worth it to spend more to get better performance or not? Here we have two beasts to compare these two GPUs. The Asus G16 with the AMD Ryzen 9 9955HX and the Asus G18 with the new Intel Core Ultra 9 275HX processor. In the previous video, we compared these two laptops in the CPU department. But today, we are shifting our focus to the heart of gaming and content creation, the GPUs. We are putting the NVIDIA RTX 5070 Ti in the G16 head to head against the RTX 5080 in the G18. Now right off the bat, we all know the RTX 5080 is the more powerful GPU on paper. It is the higher end card, no surprise there. But the real question, the one we are here to answer today, is the RTX 5080 worth the significantly higher price tag, especially when considering value for money? Because let me tell you. This G18 Vila Beast is expensive, more than $3,000. First, let's talk about GPU specification. The RTX 5080 in the G18 boasts a higher TGP, typically around 175 watts in full powered configurations like this laptop. On the other hand, the RTX 5070 Ti on the G16 usually caps at 140 watts. This 35 watts difference in total GPU power is crucial. More power generally means more performance. Beyond TGP, the RTX 5080 also comes with more VRAM, 16 gigabytes compared to 12 gigabytes on the 5070 Ti. More VRAM is increasingly important, especially as games become more graphically demanding and textures get larger. So, how do these differences translate to gaming? In most scenarios, the RTX 5080 is the clear winner, offering noticeable performance uplift. We are talking anywhere from 30 to even 40 percent better performance in demanding titles, particularly at higher resolutions and with intensive graphical setting. However, here's where the value discussion comes in. If you are primarily gaming at 1080p, the difference between these two GPUs can be surprisingly minor in many titles. The 5070 Ti is already incredibly capable at 1080p, even 2.5K resolution, often hitting very high frame rates. The 5080 extra horsepower might go largely unused at this resolution. We tested lots of games in these two laptops like Cyberpunk 2077 and as you can see on the screen, the performance difference is quite high, around 30 to 40%. Uh, but I should note that the G16 we have over here has only 16 gigabytes of RAM. With 16 gigabytes of RAM, you may find some stuttering, especially when you are using DLSS at multi-frame generation. But uh, the G18 we have over here has 32 gigabytes. Unfortunately, we couldn't upgrade the G16. But uh, stay tuned for our next videos so we can compare other laptops to each other to get more accurate frame rates. The next game we tested was Rainbow Six Siege. In Rainbow Six Siege 2, we got uh, more than 20 to 30 percent performance difference. This is the newest Rainbow we tested in Ultra Plus in the new mode, which is Ultra Plus. And in this test too, we got more than 20 to 30 percent performance difference, which is good. We also tested Marvel Rivals to see how they can compete in this game too. Uh, Mario Rivals is a new eSport title which aims toward higher end gaming PCs. Uh, in this game too, uh, the performance difference was around 20 to 30 percent. But as you can see, both laptops performed great and I was happy with the result from both laptops. The huge performance difference really begins to show itself when you push the limits at higher resolutions, at higher texture qualities, with intense ray tracing, or especially when you jump to 4K gaming. At 4K, that extra VRAM and TGP on the 5080 become critical, allowing for a smoother gameplay and higher fidelity. 4K gaming is your goal. The 5080 is the clear winner. Moving on to content creation. Video editing, 3D rendering, graphic design, the RTX 50 again pulls ahead. 
It's not just about the more VRAM and higher TGP, although those can help with larger projects and faster renders. The main difference here which many creators will appreciate is extra NVIDIA encoders that the RTX 5080 supports over 5070 Ti. While both GPUs utilize NVIDIA's latest NVIDIA encoder and decoder, 5080 typically includes two NVIDIA encoders and two NVIDIA decoders, although the 5070 unfortunately has only one. This means significantly faster video encoding, especially for high resolution like 4K or 8K resolutions and for those who might be streaming to multiple platforms. For professionals, this can translate directly into save time and increased productivity. So, the value proposition. After all that, we know the RTX 5080 is a lot more powerful. There is no denying that its raw performance is superior in this comparison, in both gaming and content creation. But, as we mentioned earlier, that extra performance doesn't come cheap. Laptops equipped with RTX 5080 are constantly and significantly more expensive than their 5070 Ti counterparts. If you have the budget and you prioritize maximum performance, especially for 4K gaming or heavy duty content creation where every second counts, then the RTX 5080 is an excellent investment. You are getting the best of what this generation has to offer in a mobile form factor. However, if you are looking for a fantastic gaming experience at 1080p or even 1440p and you want to save a substantial amount of money, the RTX 5070 Ti is an incredibly capable GPU. It offers phenomenal performance for its price, making it a strong value contender. And here is an important note. Just because a laptop has an RTX 5080 doesn't mean it's running at its full potential. Some manufacturers might limit the TGP to save on cooling or cost. A lower wattage RTX 5080 could potentially be weaker than full wattage I mean 140 watts RTX 5070 Ti. Always check the TGP specifications of the specific laptop model you are considering to buy. It's a huge factor in real world performance. Or you should watch our videos or others videos to see how well a laptop can perform in any games or workloads. Ultimately the choice comes down to your budget and your specific needs. Both Asus G16 and Asus G18 with their GPUs are great. The 5080 offers the bleeding edge of mobile GPU performance, but the 5070 Ti delivers exceptional performance over value, especially for those who don't need every last frame or feature. Let me know your thoughts on the comments down below. Which one do you choose, RTX 5080 or RTX 5070 Ti? For my workloads, I think RTX 5070 Ti is a better choice, but what is for you? Tell us in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.